the QB510M mini PC bare bones kit from MSI. The QB5 comes in a brown box with the usual assortment of paperwork, a power cable with a cloverleaf or C5 connector, and a Delta 65 watt power brick. What differs from the usual is the inclusion of a monitor vase mount so you can directly attach the QB510M to the back of your monitor of choice, a bag of mounting screws, and finally, an external power switch, which is essentially a two pin power button that you typically find inside a PC to power on a computer. The bottom of it has double sided tape so you can stick it to any surface you like. Bravo MSI. A quick look around the QB5, starting at the front we see a power button, blue hard drive indicator LED, a single USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C and Type-A connector, and on the left we see a separate 3.5mm headphone and microphone jack. Nice to see them separated here and not a combo port I was expecting. Moving to the right side I'll direct you to this hidden port. Removing the blanking plate reveals the two pin plug for that external power switch. It connects here. A Kensington lock adapter slot is also found here. The rear from left to right is a HDMI 1.4 connector paired with a DisplayPort 1.2 connector. So while 4K is available, it's limited to 24 FPS on the HDMI connector. While DisplayPort 1.4 is capable of up to 144Hz at 4K. An integrated gigabit ethernet LAN port using the Intel WGI219V chipset, the start of an Intel trend here. Two more USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports next up in what is increasingly becoming a confusing nomenclature. USB 3.2 Gen 1 has a 5 gigabit second transfer rate. Two USB 2 ports are the next offering, a good place to connect your keyboard and mice. The power connector rounds up our look around the MSI QB510M. Size is one of its biggest selling points, coming in at 125 by 125 by 55 millimeters, weighing in a mighty 578 grams and a tiny 0.66 liter volume. I've been permitted to strip it down, so I'm not going to pass on that opportunity. While I get to take it apart, let's talk some specifications. The MSI QB510M comes with a choice of three Intel CPUs, the i3 10 at 110U, a two core, four thread CPU running at 2.1 gigahertz, boosting to 4.1 i5 10 210U, a 4 core 8 thread CPU running at 1.6 GHz boosting to 4.2, and the i7 10 510U, a 4 core 8 thread running at 1.8 GHz boosting to 4.9. All CPUs have a 15 watt TDP configurable up to 25 watts and include the Intel UHD 620 graphics chipset. Two DDR4 SODIMM RAM slots support a max of 64 gigs of 2666 MHz RAM. Though Intel's site also specifies LP DDR4-2933 can also be installed. The QB510M comes populated with an Intel Wireless AC9462 adapter, but the Intel AX201 can also be installed for Wi-Fi 6 AX support. MSI has implemented Intel's proprietary NGFF KeyE interface here, so it's locked to Intel CRF modules only. This being said, there will certainly still be upgrade paths here in the future. An M.2 key adapter is present so you can install any NVMe SSD using the traditional 2280 sizing. Below this is where the AC9462 wireless card is installed. It does of course also include Bluetooth 5.0. Finally a blue SATA port and power header are visible inside the chassis. This gives you the ability to add a 2.5 inch SSD or hard drive of your choice with the included SATA power and data cables you will also find in the box. This drive can then be mounted to the lid, or in this case, the bottom of the QB510 and mini PC. Giving you the options of either a single M.2 or 2.5 inch SSD, or both together for large storage options. So, MSI has given you the choice of what RAM and M.2 or 2.5 inch drive to install with this bare bones kit. Removing the motherboard itself from the chassis, let's take a look at the cooling. And as expected, the cooling is very similar to what you find in laptop cooling. A blower fan mounted on top of the SOC heatsink. The heatsink itself has a copper heat pipe leading to aluminium fins. The Intel mobile CPUs are all BGA or ball grid array, meaning that they are soldered directly to the motherboard in this case. While we reassemble, let's talk use case for the MSI QB510M. MSI market the QB5 at home, office and commercial environments, and from testing, I'd have to agree with them. While gaming is technically possible, you'd have to run down the settings massively, so I really wouldn't recommend the QB5 for gaming at all. 
Moving on to the suggested environments, I can easily see the QB5 being used at home as a web and office machine, zero problems. Home theater media playback is most definitely on the table here too. It's more than capable of encoding and outputting to large 4K panels for media playback, no issues. Similarly, this ties in office and commercial environments. It gives you the option to run dual monitors with the DisplayPort and HDMI adapters. So this offers a surprising amount of flexibility whilst being powerful enough to run productivity workloads. PC Mark 10 is really the only way to go here, testing essentials, productivity, and digital content creation. With an essential score of 6,533, productivity score of 5,689, and a digital content creation score of 2,399, the overall PC Mark 10 score was 3,202. Highlighting essentials and productivity with good overall scores, it's clear the MSI QB5 will be perfect for home and office environments with tasks that I mentioned earlier. Digital content creation score considerably lower, meaning while possible, large content creation projects, e.g. photos and videos, should probably be left to more powerful systems. I've put a web link to the PC Mark 10 results in the description below. The MSI QB5 10M is a small but very capable mini PC designed for home, office and commercial environments. At home, it can be used as a HTPC or media center PC, home office PC or general home daily use cases like internet, video, word processing and email tasks, no problems. It would also be right at home in office and commercial environments performing similar tasks and thanks again to its dual display connectors, dual monitor use is also available out of the box. I should note it's developed in conjunction with MSI's Pro MP221 monitor, a monitor developed for an office environment. It's quite an aesthetic piece too, with a black plastic shell overall, a metal base and uh, metal walls for reinforcement, and other than the MSI logo and the IO, that's pretty much it. The size also adds to its appeal with a small 0.66 litre volume that's pretty much the size of your hand. Going back to I.O., three Type-A USB 2 Gen 1 ports, one Type-C USB 2 3.1 Gen 1 port, two USB 2s, Gigabit Ethernet, HDMI, and DisplayPort give you a plethora of connection options for its form factor. Internally, Wi-Fi AC, or AX, Bluetooth 5.0, M.2, SATA ports, two RAM slots, again give you lots of options to populate for the use case. CPU temperatures under the heaviest PC Mark 10 workload peaked at 70C. Even in a pretty warm room, 26 degrees at the time of testing with a small heatsink proved itself very well here. Also, a summer's getting hotter or what? Acoustics aren't much of a factor here too. The low powered SOCs offer a great balance between power and efficiency and can be cooled easily enough. Even during the high load sections of testing in PC Mark 10, the PC was barely audible on the desk and silent mounted on the back of a monitor. The fan curve here is pretty much spot on. Finally, the option of either the Intel Core i3, i5 or i7 CPUs are great depending on the customer's situation and or preference once again. Now, pricing. A bare bones MSI QB5 10M with the Core i3 is 299, the Core i5 349 and the i7 499, a decent chunk of change. As I mentioned earlier, this sample I was sent came populated with the RAM and an M.2 SSD. A quick Google search found this model available at CCL in the UK with a price tag of £690. So if a complete system is something you prefer, then this is also an option. You could of course save some costs purchasing the bare bones mini PC of choice and populating it with an M.2 or 2.5 inch drive, RAM and OS of choice yourself. Taking the use case, hardware, aesthetics, size and acoustics into account, the MSI QB5 10M walks away with player's gold award. It will make itself right at home in any home, office or commercial environment. Big thanks to MSI for sending the QB5 10M in for review. Well that's it from me, hope you enjoyed. I've been Dave from Player TV. If you like the video, you know what to do. Hit subscribe while you're here and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.